Yo, what is poppin'? My name is Lazy the Gifted and I help artists grow their fan base. Straight up, I myself am an artist as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to completely blow up if you're a musician, specifically a rapper, and it ain't posting six TikToks a day hoping that you're gonna blow up but not really getting any results. It's not smashing your thumbs on Instagram DMs trying to get strangers to listen to your music. Yeah, it ain't any of that stuff. It's actually a lot easier to grow your fan base if you know the right things to do. And I'm gonna show you something that's been helping me grow my fan base and it's been really, really showing me some great results. Before we get into it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, of course. I'm gonna take you into the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about when I say the easiest way to grow your fan base as a musician in 2022. Let's get it. In my opinion, the easiest way to grow your fan base is by using paid advertising and specifically Facebook slash Instagram ads. Now what we're looking at right now is my Facebook ads manager. What I wanna do is instead of going through this long, long masterclass of showing you exactly how to run Facebook ads, I wanna just kinda of quickly run you through the results that I've gotten overall over the past few years, what I've been able to accomplish, and how easy it is to get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you my overall ad campaigns. This is every single type of campaign I've run. When you run ads on Facebook, you can run lots of different campaigns. This video is not gonna explain necessarily that. I'll probably make another video, but I'm gonna just show you what I've been able to accomplish in the last few years. So let's see what the t date range. I wanna make sure we're at the right date range. So I started running ads in May of 2019, and since then I've spent about $10,000 of my own money. Um, I've also spent money on other ad accounts, which I can show you. Um, but I want to just kind of show you, you know, what I've gotten out of that and, you know, the cool stuff. So like in the past two years, so reach, for example, reach is the number of people who saw your ad. So over 1 million people have seen my ads. Um, I think impressions, let me just go to performance so I can show you the impressions as well. Impressions, the number of times your ads were seen on a screen, if that makes sense. So impressions is really something that people kind of like look at, I've gotten over two and a half million impressions. So, kind of cool. Um, and then I'm gonna show you exactly like, what I wanna do too is I wanna break down exactly, first of all, let me just let me just even go on this because I didn't even really emphasize this. In the last two years, let's say you've been, you're watching this video right now and you have not run paid ads. Because I'm sure somebody's watching this right now and you haven't started running any paid ads. Have you reached this many people with your music in the last two years without running paid ads? Probably not. And if you're watching this right now and you have, great, use paid ads to put some gas on the fire. But if you're watching this right now and you're an artist and you're struggling to figure out how to grow a fan base, I want you to really try to imagine how long it would really take you to get to a million, you know, 1.2 million people or two and a half million impressions. Off just posting on TikTok organically, you might be able to get it if you're smashing TikTok every day. But this took no effort, essentially. It took money, but it did not take me posting content. It didn't take me smashing my thumbs DMing strangers. It didn't take any of that. It didn't take me begging people who are bloggers to put my music on Spotify, on their playlists. None of that stuff. So let me go ahead and show you the most, in my opinion, one of the most powerful campaigns and it's called a video view campaign. So basically what I can do is I'll run you through some of the results and I'm going to show you exactly the statistics I've been able to get. So um, in fact, and before I even take you to all of these numbers, let me go, I have the other tab open with a bunch of the videos I've ran ads for and I'll show you. So let's start with this one. I'll mute it just uh, just because the sound's not important right now. It's just me rapping. <laughs> but Essentially, I want to kind of show you this case study here. 136,000 views, 356 comments, 388 react, 386 reactions. So, pretty cool. And if you see here, you can pretty much tell how simply shot it was. It's obviously just me putting the camera on a tripod, going from different angles. I went to two different locations, one in my room and one at the basketball court near my house. And... I had my homie edit it with the words down on the bottom. And the reason I did that was because I noticed that uh, wrapping videos with words on the bottom end up performing really well. So 
this video really finally started performing really well. And um, this was basically the latest, or this was not my latest music video, which I will show you, but this is the one right before the current one that I'm running. It took me many iterations, tons of different campaigns that I had to run before I was able to really, really get this one, which I would have called a winner. And I'm gonna show you when I say winner, it's not just the 136,000 views. Let's summarize the entire campaign. So I'm gonna put doing the most, because I think I ran two different campaigns of it. Doing the most, here we go, both of these. So you can see I spent, not this one, to, don't worry about this 1500 because these two, these three aren't the same. But let's see, 1200 So I spent about $1,400 on the whole video. Now, what's really dope about Facebook ads, and this is the this is the reason that I love running Facebook ads so much, okay? Okay, good. What you can see on Facebook is you can actually see, like, the normal stuff you can see, right? How many people watched three seconds of it, through plays, 15 seconds. Like, that's kind of cool. Reach impressions and all that's cool. But the dopest thing about Facebook ads is that you can see how many people watch specific percentages of the video and how much it costs. So what that means is this video, let's see, this video was two minutes and 47 seconds, right? So let's pull up our handy dandy calculator. Two minutes, 47 seconds, right? So that's, let's see. Well, two minutes is 120 plus 47. So the total video is 167 seconds. Now, 25% of that, oops. Wait, is that right? 167 times, it's only 41 seconds. So to me, that's not enough. What I wanna look for is who watched at least two minutes of the video. So I think that'd be 95%. So 167 times 0.95. There we go. So whoever watched 95% of the video, these are people who watched at least two minutes of it. And then look how many people watched 100%. It's pretty cool. 1,457 people. That's people, and this is what's dope about it, I can retarget these people, which means I can now run advertisements to these exact human beings. So this ad, to me, performed really well. Here's the thing, though. I thought that I had my winner. I thought that I had it. I thought this was the one, right, until this happened. So then I released my new music video called Watch Me, which I'll show you. Let's see. This one. So Watch Me. You'll see it's only 55,000 views, 136 comments, 195 reactions. Not as many as the last video, but I have not paid as much money for this one yet. But here's why this video, watch me. Let's see, what can do? Let's see why this video is doing even better. So watch me, I will just even look at it right here. Watch me's got, wow, 4,876 people. I've watched 100% of the video. That is insane. Why? I've only spent 600 bucks. Remember on the last video, I spent 1400 and so that's about that's more than double and I got half the people. I had about what 1500 people, right, who watched 100%. Watch me. I've spent half the budget and I've gotten more than double the amount of people to watch the entire video. You can notice here the dopest part with the doing the most video. Oh, here it is. Here's the doing the most video right here. Each 100% video view cost me 84 cents and this one only cost me 12 cents. That's bananas, y'all. It's bananas. That's crazy. And what's cool, again, like I said, I can retarget every single one of these people to something else. Now, the plan is I have a couple of different things I want to do. But let me show you another thing that I'm running. So the other thing that I'm running, I have two more campaigns I'm running. The first one, green light warmth boost. So basically what that means is I'm taking all of the people, 
all warm. That means everybody who has watched any of my content before. I'll show you what that means. So this is anybody who's watched three seconds, everyone who's watched 10 seconds, um, anyone who's watched 15 seconds. Here's all the different percentage videos. Tone down landing page. These are people who landed on this landing page that I made using Tone Den, which is for like Spotify. I'll probably do another video showing you that for when you're on Spotify ads. But this is all the people who are warm. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just trying to show them, look, I'm only spending $1 a day. Because all I'm trying to do is stay warm. I'm trying to just stay relevant with them. And it's really simple. I've got, I had these three different, they're like little one minute music videos. They're like really small, short. And I was just running ads to them video view campaigns again just to just to show them more content just to get them to watch more stuff just so I stay top of mind so I know that every single person who's watching this now is people who've already seen me before more touch points the other thing that I'm doing is I'm running what's called a conversions campaign for Spotify now here's how I'm doing this this is gonna be something I know you guys are interested in bear in mind keep in mind um, I've only spent $218 on this campaign, basically nothing, and I think I've only run the campaign for like a month or so, so like I haven't been focusing that much on it. But basically what I've been doing is I took what's called a lookalike audience. So that video I showed you called Doing the Most, I took everybody who watched 95% and I made what's called a lookalike audience. Basically a lookalike audience is like saying, hey Facebook, can you take these exact people and make an audience of those people who are kind of like them? And this is about a few million people. So um, this is called a conversions campaign because what you're trying to do is you're trying to get people off Facebook to go somewhere else for me right now at Spotify. So basically what I've gotten is I've gotten around, it looks like we've gotten 38 people to view this link, which I'll show you what the link is in a minute. We've gotten, I'm getting around $4 per content view, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, not very good. I want to get that down to below $2. So we will continue optimizing and working. Um, cost per link click, I want that to be under a dollar. We're going to work on it. And then the click through rate is anything over 1% is fine. So it's not that bad here, but I do want to make this a little better. So let me just kind of sh break down more of this campaign. So I have this ad running on it. So basically for everybody who watched like this is just is basically to run ads to watch me, right? And you can see it's like an IG reel, and you can see how the words are popping up. All I did was I had posted this as an actual Instagram reel. I put that little filter where you can have the words pop up, so it's like you make your own lyric video. So I downloaded that to my camera roll, uploaded it to my Facebook business page, and then I started running ads on this exact thing. It's, this is right now, I think that's the one. Oh, no, this is the one that's still running right here. See, you can see it just pops my face right away. It's got words flying across the screen. All right, it's 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 good stuff. When you click listen now, let's see if I can get to the link. Here we go. I'll show you guys what this exact link is. So, when you click it, what happens is it goes right here to like a smart link. This is a website I use called ToneDen.io. It's free. I'll do another video breaking down ToneDen just so that you understand what it is. But it's basically a way for you to create smart links. And it's a lot better than like hyped it or I used to use another one called feature.fm. They're okay, but this one's free and you can do a lot better tracking with your ads. So I like using it. So from here, right, people can click Spotify, Apple, Deezer, iTunes, whatever they want. And when people end up clicking to my clicking here to Spotify, here's what happens. I think what happens is when they click it, oh no, I can't track them on Spotify, but when people get to this watch me thing. It's what's called a view content. And the view content means they landed on this exact on this exact page, the one I had just showed you earlier. I hope that makes sense. So let me show you actually going to my um, my music here on Spotify. This is artist.spotify.com. By the way, my stats are not impressive at all because I've not focused on Spotify. I, I literally before the last 28 days ago, I didn't give a crap about Spotify. Now I'm starting to care more. So let me show you my unimpressive results, but I do want you to see that there is growth happening, and I know it's because of these ads. So here's the growth that's happened. Listeners is actual human beings of who's listening to the music. It's been a 28% increase since last month. 
Streams has been a 91% increase in the last month, so almost double the amount of streams. Not that much. Uh, and then I lost a follower. Boo-hoo. Not a big deal to me. I don't really care that much. Um, the reason I don't care that much is because I'm just getting started with running ads to Spotify. So engagement-wise, in the last 28 days, now this is interesting. So we've gotten 49 listeners, 174 streams. Streams per listener, that means each person who listens is listening about three and a half times. That's cool. And then I've gotten six saves and 13 playlist ads, which is really interesting. I'd like to go now to the actual music tab, and we'll go to last 28 days. Clearly, Watch Me is my top stream song in the last 28 days because I am running those ads. Um, and let's take a look here. Playlists. Cool. So let's take a look. 28 days. So playlist created for a listener based. All right. So not, again, not impressive at all. I don't care. It's all good. We're working. Um, I think there's a way, because I know there was a way for me to, hang on, let's see if there's a way for me to look at what was on with Watch Me. I'm trying to see that. I think music. Oh, yeah. I'm going to click on Watch Me. So now I can see specifically what's, thank you, this is what I was looking for. So with Watch Me in the last 21 day, 28 days, um, I think the one I was looking for was playlists. There we go. Cool. So in the last 28 days, um, I was added to two different playlists, which is really cool. Uh, I think that's really cool because I know for a fact that these were added because of the ad campaigns. That means these people, Renee and Ryan, shout out to you guys. I know for a fact that they probably saw the song on Facebook. They saw it on the ad. They went and listened to it. They liked it so much that they added it to their playlist. The amount of streams, I don't care that much yet. Again, this just started a month ago. But the idea is I'm seeing growth. We have growth in listeners. We have growth in streams. We don't have growth in followers yet, and that's okay. That's okay. We don't have enough stats for me to show that the followers aren't working. So my point is because of the campaigns that I'm running here on Facebook, I'm specifically seeing growth here on Spotify. And I'm going to be seeing more growth because I am going to be running more campaigns. I'm going to be optimizing this campaign. I'm going to make sure that I can get my um, cost per view content a lot lower and I'm going to be able to grow even faster on, on Spotify. So my point is, guys, the easiest way to start growing your fan base in 2022 without a doubt for musicians is using paid ads, specifically Facebook slash Instagram ads. I can do a much more in-depth breakdown of it I can even run a new campaign and do a screen recording and show you how to run it. Uh, I can do it with maybe a new Spotify campaign or something like that and just kind of show you how it works. There's a lot of different campaigns that I've tried that have worked well. I've also tried doing um, ad campaigns that will grow my Instagram followers, which kind of worked out pretty well. I think I ended up getting like, I don't know, maybe over 200 followers in like a month or something, which was great. So I can show you guys stuff like that. And... I also want to do another video breakdown showing you the overall plan of exactly why I'm doing all this stuff. So it's not just to get a bunch of vanity metrics. There's a bigger purpose, and I will break that down in another video. So in conclusion, I think that you running paid ads is by far the easiest way for you to grow your fan base in 2022. I don't think that it's a complete substitute for some organic stuff. I'm posting on Instagram like a lot. I'm trying to even get you know stuff going on TikTok as well because I do want to still utilize the organic traffic. However, by far running ads like what I've just showed you is super easy because it doesn't really take any it doesn't take any time. It takes time to learn it. It takes time to earn some money separately because if you're not earning any money from music right now, that's okay. You got to go maybe get a job or work a little side hustles here and there or do whatever you got to do to go get some money to actually run these ads because these ads are the easiest way to grow. You were able to see my numbers and I didn't spend any time. It wasn't like I had to post hella videos and I had to interact with tons of people and I had to like spend hella time making video content. I know a lot of musicians watching this are probably in a similar position I was in where you don't have time to be making hella videos all the time. You don't have time all day. You're like... Maybe you have a job and like you work full time. How are you supposed to post six pieces of content a day about music if you're working? Or even if you're not, like it's hard to post all those videos and it's hard. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but if you can't do it, if you feel like you're stuck, if it's been three, four, five, six months, 12 months, and you still aren't popping, 
on like any platforms and you haven't been posting content, it's like, well, maybe you should try this and it's a lot easier. Um, if you're looking at this and you're like, okay, Lee, I love it. Facebook ads, I'm down, but I have no idea what to do. Can you make a training? Can you like break it down? The easiest thing you could do, book a call with me and let me just explain it to you. I'd love to just literally walk you one-on-one -on -one through it. Um, the other thing too is if you're watching this and you're like, hey Lee, I've actually got the money for Facebook ads. It would be sick if I learned it, but I would actually rather someone else do it. Do you think you could run my Facebook ads for me? I do that too. Again, book a call with me. Let's make something happen. Let's see if I can help you in any way. Look, my goal is like I'm trying to make it as a musician myself, but like while I'm on the way, I've learned a bunch of stuff. I've spent hella money and hella time learning a bunch of different cool marketing things, and I want to share them with all of my you know fellow musicians. So. If you're down to learn from me, if you want me to literally run your ads for you, it's no problem. I can do that for you. Just get in the description and book a call with me and let's literally just chat and see if I'm even able to help you. If we, if I feel like we're a good fit, I'll walk you through what I've got going on and how I can help. If we don't feel like we're a good fit, I'm chill with that too. It's all good, all right? Also, don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get this thing popping. Let's try to help the artist community get out there and grow their fan bases here in 2022 and beyond. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. Looking forward to talking to you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.